Joining me today is second-year women's basketball head coach Jody Martinez to look ahead to the 2018-2019 season. Last year, Jody, not bad in your first season. You take the team back to nationals. You went over 20 games. What's the biggest difference between last year and this year? Well, hopefully the experience and mental toughness can come into play this year. We still have some aspects to teach in the, in the system, uh, so we have the learning curve that area, and you blend in the four new players. Uh, I think the biggest carryover from last year is the returners came and fit. Uh, they all looked like they got some more muscle on them. Um, and just the, 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 the effort has been amazing so far. Does it help them that they know your system, they've been in it for a year, instead of having to teach everything new like you did a year ago with, as you refer to them, as, as 13 to 15 freshmen? Right. I, I, I think uh, not only the system, Rick, I think also my coaching demeanor, uh, my sarcasm or my intensity. Uh, I think the biggest thing is the tone of voice and it's something that the new players are trying to learn right now is just you know ignore the tone of voice, ignore the intensity, but just hold on to the message. Hold on to the teaching aspect of things. Uh, I, I, so that's a blessing going into year number two. Uh, we still have you know ways to go um, on the defensive end right now, but uh, overall uh, I, I'm one happy coach in terms of effort. The headliner of that returning group is obviously Kendall Bradbury, the preseason player there in the Crossroads League, a first-team All-American a year ago. She's going to break the all-time scoring record here before we know it. She's going to set a whole slew of records. She was really good a year ago, averaged a double-double, scored over 20 points a game. How has she improved for the senior season? I, I think athletically she's more fit. I think conditioning was her priority in the offseason, and, and it showed. Um, just from preseason last year where she was towards the lower pack uh, on finishing drills, this year she was in the upper half, uh, which was great you know, effort on her part. And sometimes people that are All-American status takes working hard for granted, and she didn't. And so I'm real, real happy with her there. Uh, you know, I tell the team, everyone's got a role to play. And Kendall just has the blessing of being a scorer. She proves it in practice, and I challenge other people, prove to me you can score in practice, and I might run some plays for you. But until then, the people that score in practice score in the game. And then that's the way we run things. Um, and so Kendall has earned that right again this year. Uh, we just got done having a showcase where we played three games on Saturday, and, and everyone, other coaches, was talking about Kendall. They were talking about our team, how physical we were, and how you know how better shape we were than the other teams. Um, so that, that, that's a good good sign of what's happening. And Kendall inspires that. You know, people want to do well around her, and and that's what we're, we we got to build up on for this year. Big change to the schedule from a year ago. You guys get to open with three home games to start to the year. Last year, not only a really tough non-conference schedule, but you were on the road a lot as well. How much of a benefit is it to open up with your first three games of the season right here on this floor inside Orbital Arena? Well, you know, we lost great seniors and two were starters in, in Cassidy and Josie. And so opening up at home will give us a little more peace of mind, make us relax a little bit. I think playing in the showcase in Chicago this past Saturday uh, was great for us just to compete with someone. But now that we're coming home, uh, and playing two other teams and, and uh, get the season rolling. I think it's a benefit, it's a blessing to have three in a row. But then we got a tough schedule. We got two NCAA Division I teams coming up in November, uh, Metro State uh, Division II team in Denver. We got University of Denver and then we got Purdue Fort Wayne. So those three teams are coming up in November, uh, the first week. And, and uh, you know, we got a work cut out. We have, we have some tough games and then Thanksgiving is going to be very difficult with the showcase playing ranked teams. Probably the number one ranked team will be there. If they're not number one, they'll be number two. But in, in Southeastern, where I used to coach, um, you know, they have six Division One transfers, so the schedule's tough. And then after Thanksgiving, we, we have a conference game at Marion. Uh, you know, just Katie Gerald does a great job there, and and, and they're going to be good again. So I love the competition, and November is, is going to be nasty. Not a bad way to start things off, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, you know, the other good thing is, you know, learning the names of these players has, has been better this year. I can tell the, the twins apart, and, and I know their names, Abby and Becca, so that's a good thing. Don't have to call them 40 and 44 anymore. But, uh, you know, I, I've gotten better. We've all gotten better. Yeah. It's not a bad way to start year two. Jody, thanks for the time, and good luck with these first three home games, and we'll talk to you down the road. Thanks, Rick. It's been a pleasure working with you, and I'm excited about year two with you and your staff.
That's Jody Martinez, the head women's basketball coach here at Taylor University. If you can't make it out to any of the th first three home games of the year or any home games here throughout the 2018-19 season, you can watch them all live on the Trojan Sports Network on the new home here on YouTube.